How are we doing? I'm Tobin in the den to talk about shea butter. Not just any shea butter, but specifically I want to talk about galactic shea butter from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. The other day, earlier this week, a conversation was going on in the Phoenix Shaving fan group on Facebook. A link to that in the description, as well as other links that I've used for resources, including a couple of videos here on YouTube that I'll attach as well for those uh, wanting more information about shea butter. I bought this a few years ago, and today I want to show you guys how I use it and when I use it, and then let you guys in on a whole variety of uses that you can use shea butter for. Real quickly, in case you didn't know, shea butter is in a lot of the products we as wet shavers use. Um, it's in soap commanders, soap base, it's in Sterling's soap base. The benefits of shea butter are literally endless. It's like, you know, it said there's 101 uses for shea butter and there's probably actually more than that. You want to look for unrefined shea butter. The one reason why people don't want unrefined and they want it refined, which basically means processed, is that natural shea butter has an odor to it. Now, to a fraghead like me, I like it. It's a nutty, earthy, slightly smoky <sighs> fragrance. Shea butter comes from a nut from a tree in Africa. And uh, they basically smash it and boil it and extract the natural fat from it. All right, so you could use a scoop or a pick. I use the back of my thumb. And you only need a little bit. At room temperature, it is a solid. But once it gets anything much beyond room temperature, it'll start becoming a liquid. So I just take a little bit. Now, the last couple of days, I've been using two razors and I've been playing with these blades. That's all I'll say for now because that's an upcoming video. But I did four passes last night. I haven't shaved yet today. I will here in a few hours and caused irritation. And I knew that I was going to. So what I do is I do my typical post-shave routine, which is first I use alum. You know, immediately after the shave, I rinse. I'll apply alum like you see me do in my videos. I then apply a splash and then my Mysterium Serum. And so I do all of that. And then a couple of hours later, last night I didn't do it because I wanted to make sure that I was plenty red and to show you guys. Um, a lot of times when I know that I'm gonna have problems like that, I will wait a couple of hours after applying all this stuff and then I'll come along and do what I'm about to do as well as do it in, in the morning. I'm generally a nighttime shaver. So, you know, if you shave in the morning, I see it's already getting super solid just while I'm sitting here talking. So I sm smear it around on my fingers until it's nice and thin. And then we're just gonna thinly apply it. And that nutty earthy smell, like once you get it on your skin, it's, it's gone in no time. You really only pick up that aroma when it's dense and thick. The problem with processing it, with refining it, is I saw a couple of articles that talked about how 75% of the benefits are lost, that vitamins A, E, and F. Uh, I'll continue to put stuff up here on the screen as I already have. But a lot of those anti-aging, antifungal, antioxidant benefits are lost. Um, I've never used it for dandruff or for diaper rash, but that's, those are two uses that I found a lot of people talking about. Of course, I've never used it for stretch marks, but I'm going to continue to put stuff up here on the screen while I do this. And we're just going to do like a thin layer. I have a mirror right down here below you guys. And just rub it in. Just rub it in over here. That, um, so that little bit was enough to cover this left side of my face. Do a little bit more. The Galactic Shea Butter from Phoenix Artisan is 100% natural, 100% unrefined, and there's nothing else in this tub. All it is is 100% Shea Butter. Um, I had a lost train of thought. My neighbor's out there banging around doing something and it sounded like he's at my window. Lost my train of thought. How are we doing? Um, so let's 
apply it here and maybe what I was saying will come back to me without stopping the video. Four ounce tub, that's what I was saying. And it's like three ninety five right now. I bought this a couple of years ago. I tried to find it on my uh, sales history on Phoenix Artisan. I couldn't find it. My tub might actually be over a few years old, like four years old. The furthest I could go back on the website was my purchases of 2020. So I think I bought it before 2020. The, his website and other websites I looked at look say basically unrefined shea butter has a shelf life of 24 months. I've noticed zero changes in mine and I do know that mine is over 24 months old and see already like I don't I don't pick up the earthy nuttiness whatsoever at the end of the video too I'll have a couple of photos up there on the screen that I got just share some info with you guys also what I use it for is so I'm getting closer to 50. I'm 46. I turned 47 in April. I got these, um, what do you call them? Crow's feet, right? There's a couple of products I do use, but here's the one main thing that I use the shave butter for, and I use it a few times a week. And like any of these products, you're gonna have to, you know, use it for a little while before you start seeing any real benefits. And the last thing I'll do is I'll show you guys, um, where I use them on my hands, especially. So just a little bit and all you need is a little bit guys if, if you're left with like a greasy feeling a minute or three after applying it you apply too much and so if you're like oh Tobin it's greasy try try using less I've never used it on my head have I talked about that I probably should the only shampoo that I use is 99% of what I use is PAA and then the only other product I have used in recent years is Sterling's. And then right here between my eyes, from all my scowling, my old man, get off of my lawn, scowl, see that? So those are where I need help the most. All right, so my hands, right in here, especially in the winter, it gets super dry, super bad. And you, know, you get that um, winter skin, they call it. It's also good for sunburns and wind burn as well. So again, I'll just take a little bit Right there, it's more than enough. I'm just gonna take it using my index fingers, smear it around. You see, that's way more than enough. So I'll actually be able to use this on the palm of my hand. So let's just get rid of that right now on the palm. You can hear how dry my hands are. And then now let's take this and I'm gonna apply it here. I highly recommend using the Phoenix Artisan. And in all honesty, it's the only product I've ever used. And this is the only tub that I've actually ever purchased. Four ounces, if you're using it like I do, is going to last you forever. And like I said, I do believe that this is somewhere over four years old. And I personally, just keeping it, you know, at room temperature, stored, like how we wet shaver store our stuff, no problems with it at all. And I, I use it a few times a week, and it's lasted me forever. Insect bites, I put it on those. I have a couple other things I use insect sec bites for. I cannot recommend it enough, though, for us wet shavers for what I've done with it here today. And you can even, you know, skip the post-shave bomb, use your splash, and then go straight to this. It's fantastic. And for four ounces for three ninety five. dollars one, I don't need to buy it anywhere else because I feel like that is a killer deal. And from what I looked around... On the inter internet, it is an amazing deal. And of course, look at that label, and it's just badass. You're supporting a small business, and for me, you know, it's just one more thing that I can pick up while already doing my shopping at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. If you use the Phoenix Artisan link in the description, those are affiliate links. I will earn a commission off of your purchase, and I do appreciate that. I'm using that money that I'm currently earning to buy a GoPro for Luna for my outdoor shaves. And then once we get that, I'm going to use that money to purchase a drone that um, we'll also use, especially for the B-roll and a couple different angles during my videos um, outdoors that I have planned. So anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, helps with acne, dandruff, diaper rash, may reduce stretch marks, antifungal, antioxidant, antibacterial. 
The topical uses of shea butter are endless. You can also put it on the inside of your nose. I've never done that yet. In fact, let me try a little bit right now. I want to get up and personal with my nostril. I wanted to keep this video up to 10 minutes. We're almost there. So we're just going to use a teeny tiny bit. You can barely see it there on my fingers, right? There's actually more here on my fingers. It's just already getting spread out. And then so what I saw on videos and in the link in the description will be links to these videos. My mirror right here. They just apply it to like the rim, the edge of the nostril. And like anything guys, even if you have like any kind of allergies, skin allergies or whatever, test it on a small part of your body before. Um, most people have no problem with shea butter. If you've already been using products like this, like this, you probably won't have a problem. If you have any questions, please throw them down in the comments below. If you have any other ways that you guys use it, please use that in the comments down below. People who are looking for information almost always look through the comments. And so, and I'm also curious to know how you guys are using shea butter. Galactic Shea Butter, three ninety five dollars at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. That's my story. That's my jam. How did I do? What do you think? I hope that you guys give this a try. And for the money, for four bucks, you can't go wrong. And like it's like there's there's no excuse not to try it if you're already shopping at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It will up your game. That is my main use for it right there, guys. The days that I know my ginger skin is going to be taking a hit. And I guarantee you within 20 minutes, maybe less, that redness will be greatly diminished. I already have a problem with my skin getting red because of my fair skin, right? So like on your guys' skin, the amount of irritation that was caused wouldn't be as dramatic. But because of my gingery, fair skin that the Lord has blessed me with, uh, I get a little redder than normal. Um, and it helps. It really does. Yeah, it's a little big thanks. That right there is a little big thing right there. And a little big thing of mine is spending a beautiful sunny weekend with my wife and daughter. Emily just turned 16 yesterday. Wish her a happy belated birthday in the comments below and I'll tell her about all you guys doing it. She'll get all bashful and dad at me and it'll be good times. So yeah, happy birthday, Emily. You guys take care and focus on your little big things. My wife and daughter, those are my two littlest big things right there, baby. And that sunshine in the Pacific Northwest going outside tomorrow for an outdoor shade review. Courtesy of Bill at Murphy and McNeil. This drops on the 17th. That's all I got to say. I'm going to continue to ramble. You didn't stop me. You're letting me continue. See you guys next time. Take care.